Okay, so expanded form is when you have everything multiplied together, single powers. And index form is when you've written it in the short version, which where which has the base and the index. To evaluate the result, you're actually finding what the final answer would be. And the answer of this is 8. Because you have 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay, so basic notation, the large number is called the base. The small superscript number can be called the index, the power, the logarithm, or the exponent. Most commonly, we use power or index. So this would read 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. And 8 is just our regular numeral, or we call that a number. Okay, so we're converting from expanded form to index form. So here this is base 2 to the power of 3. And the next one, you've got two bases. You've got the 2s and the 5s. So you need to write it as 2 to the power of something times 5 to the power of something. And that power of something is 1, 2, 3, 4, the 2. And 1, 2, 3, 4 for the 5. To convert from index form to expanded form, you write the base out as many times as the index tells you. So that says 2. So I need to write it out twice and remember that they multiply together. To do the next one, it's the same idea. That has a base of 3, so I write that 3 out there. And has an index of 4, which means I need to have 4 3's multiplied together. Like so. Okay, so to simplify pronumerals, it's the same process. You look for the base, and you look for how many times that occurs. So you have, in this case, m to the power of 5. Now here you've got two bases. You've got m to the power of something and p to the power of something. So if we follow what we did before, we've got m to the power of 3 times p to the power of 2. Now the hint is that with um, algebra, we don't usually write the multiplications in when they're separating letters. So we write m cubed p squared. And lucky last one, we've got three bases. You've got 2s, you got m's, and you've got p's. Same procedure applies. You've got 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3 times m to the power of 1, 2, 3 times p to the power of 1, 2. And again, we drop the multiplication signs. Okay, so the next one is the using the first index law, which I'll call the multiplicative index law. So this time, if we were to write these out in expanded form first, this would be m times itself four times. That's a times, not a v. Times m times itself three times. And so if you were to count these up, you'd get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your final answer is m to the power of 7. But the more astute among you will notice that 4 plus 3 equals 7, which means you can go straight from this step to here if you remember to add the indices. So let's do this again over here. This time we've got a 2 in front of the m's, but this time you have 2 times m, and you add the indices here so you've got 4 plus 3, which is 7. Now if you've got two numbers here and it's asking you to simplify, that really means evaluate what the number is. So you get 2 times 5 equaling 10, and the rest is as before. So you've got m to the power of 7. Okay, so this time you've got two different base of numbers, and again we've got m's. So what we do is work out what the number is. 
So 2 times 5 to the power of 3. I don't necessarily know all my powers of 5. So I'll keep it like this to start with. And then you have m to the power of 11. Because if you add 4 and 7, you get 11. Now, I use this trick because I can group 2 times 5 as a 10, which makes it easier to calculate. So I know that's 10 times 25 m11, which is 250 m to the power of 11. Okay, in the next one, you've got m's and n's, and this time you have to put in the hiding power of 1 there. So if there's no power, you can assume it's a power of 1. So here you've got to write m to the power of 4 plus 3, which would be 7, and n to the power of 1 plus 2, which is 3. Okay, so let's do the first one in full expanded form first. So m to the power of 7 means there is 7 m's multiplied together. 5, 6, 7. And it's all divided by m to the power of 3. So there's 3 m's multiplied together. Now you can see, hopefully, that they cancel. Those cancel and those cancel. Which leaves you with m to the power of 4. Once again, the more astute or observant of you will see that 7 take away 3 equals 4. So that's the trick that will work for division. Now if you have numbers involved, you'll still have to apply the regular index laws as before. So that's your m's, simplifying to that. But with the numbers, you've got to remember they still are regular numbers. So you're saying 6 divided by 2 equals your final answer here. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, so your final answer is 3m to the power of 4. Here we have uh, expansion of a bracket, and if we do this in full first, what that means here is that whatever's in the bracket is multiplied by itself three times. So we have m squared times m squared times m squared. Now if we apply the previous rule, that means you've got to add those twos together to give a 6. Again, if you're watching and you've got made the connection, 2 times 3 equals 6, which means that you can multiply the indices whenever you've got a bracket that's expanded. Now here, this one is slightly different. There's a base of 5, but it has no power, but it's all raised to the power of 3. So, I'll show you the long way first. You would multiply this by itself three times. Okay, so you're going to write that out. 5m squared times 5m squared times 5m squared. So you get 5 to the power of 3, m to the power of 6. Now, if you're really observant, you'll know that 5 is actually 5 to the power of 1. And you'll notice, hopefully, that 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. So all you do is you expand the bracket, if you like, with each term inside the bracket. Okay, so here we're going to use a shortcut. And remember, if there's no power, it's really a power of 1. So you have to expand everything to the power of 5, which means everything in the powers gets multiplied by 5. So you get 2 to the power of 1 times 5, times m to the power of 3 times 5, times n to the power of 2 times 5, which gives you 2 to the power of 5, m to the power of 15, n to the power of 10. And because we're asking you to simplify, Usually we simplify the numbers down. Um, 2 to the power of 5 is actually 32. And that will probably be the biggest power I would be expecting you to evaluate without a calculator.